Hey, what's up guys, you beautiful, beautiful people. Today, we are checking out the 770, a brand new sports car for GTA 5. Is it going to be the best sports car, the best in its class for GTA 5 Online? Uh, we're going to be checking it out, customizing it, and taking a look at it. A uh, little side note here, if you enjoy the video, remember to thumbs it up. Also, new face cam, I've got a new lighting rig. Also, um, it's a slightly new placement from yesterday. Also, I'm in focus, which is brilliant. A lot of positive feedback on yesterday's video for the face cam, and I really appreciate that. Um, but here is the new car. It's called the 770. It's not actually out yet, but it is technically in the game. So Rockstar Games have added it to the game. It will probably come out on Tuesday, uh, but we're going to have a little, a little look here due to the beautiful thing of mods. Uh, we're going to have a look at this car and um, customize it. It's a sports car, like I said, it's not a supercar, um, but it could be the potential, the best in its class. So that's why we're gonna take a look at it today. So, there is really one disappointing thing about this car, and I don't know whether Rockstar planned to fix this, and I'm not entirely sure if this is the only car with that problem. But, um, you see down here, can I point at it? Like, hang on, like, there. Like, right, that's where my camera ends. Doop. Right over there, okay? Right where my finger is. This dashboard down here, I can't point at it in the game, but it looks awful. Rockstar, that looks like it came from the Xbox 360. I don't know what's going on there. It looks awful. Also, that is just wrong on so many levels. Uh, apart from that, I mean, the steering wheel is a little bit boring also. I don't know what you can customize, so that is one thing to uh, keep in mind. Also, this is not technically out yet, so they might also update it. So there's a lot of, like, question marks I have. We'll be checking it out when it does come out online. Um, but let's take a look at it. It looks really nice, actually. I really like the style, and I'm really interested to see what we can customize. Now, I'm going to go off to whoop, um, a little place I like to call Benny's, because that's a cool place to customize cars. I don't know if... I don't think I have that modern stool, but what I'll do is I'll go in there, if it's still in there. If not, we're going to have an issue. I'll go in there, and uh, we'll just customize it as if we're doing it in GT Online. So that's pretty cool uh, little thing. I think I'm going the right way. Um, what? How many of you saw that? I saw that coming a mile off. We'll go this way. Why not? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we are going the right way. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, so lots of GTA 5 Online small updates, incremental updates, like a few, like... Whoop, a few little cars coming out. I have gone completely a really bad way. This is it's a little bit awkward. Oh, no, we can recover from this. It's okay. Just taking a little detour. I know my GTA 5. Detour. Oh, genius. Mate, that was a freaking good shortcut. I'm telling you. Oh, the mind. It's better than usual. Um, Did I just go past it? I swear it's down here. Hang on. This is it. Obviously, it's not. We're not on online, so it's not there. Is it inside though? Ah, oh, really? It's not inside. Man, that's so shit. Okay, I'm gonna just zoom and find us a uh, mod shop that we can use. Let's go in the one over here. Actually, no, I don't like that one. Let's go in the one that's this way. Um, yeah, okay. So we could, we're gonna fly there. But that was a little demo of the car. Uh, first impressions of it were. Where is this blooming? Uh, down here. I'm just the only way I know GTA 5 is by doing the route over here It's here isn't it? I'm actually above it <laughs> Okay, right, so let's go in here and Customize all right. All right. You're gonna do it in the game. Awesome Cool, I'm, I'm happy about this. All right, so let's see what we got uh, repair the vehicle uh, so this is going to be a brand new customization. This is pretty damn awesome. Okay, so armor we don't need brakes Fine exhaust right so we've got uh, oval and titanium Kind of like the stock <laughs> But we'll go with oval. Okay plate uh, We'll go with blue because that's kind of good skirts Man, they're kind of uh, not very interesting and we've got ooh, Ooh, wow, okay, this is interesting. So we've got like a really loud spoiler, which is kind of crazy. Um, you know what? Just for the sake, because it's a little bit different, we'll use it. Honestly, like honest to God, I'm a little bit disappointed. There is not that much. Okay, I've changed the color here, and actually, uh, I might actually go for like a really freaking slick. Uh, oh, that looks good. That does look good. Uh, I honestly like that. I think that's pretty much all we can do. 
Windows will, I mean, Windows, we could change to limo. I mean, this car does look good. Obviously, it's sports, so it's not meant to be the most amazing. It's not meant to be the most interesting. Uh, but what we want to know is whether or not it's the coolest or the best in its class. Um, so, yeah, all we had is skirts and spoiler. Uh, some cool things there, but I'm kind of surprised at the lack of customization with the, like, the hood and stuff. So what I'm going to do, I don't think this is it. I'm going to take it out and uh, customize it with the mod menu and see if we can add any more customization. Okay. All right, guys. So here's the thing. I've been through two different mod menus, and currently, at the moment, it looks like this car doesn't have the customization options available. Now, this is not to say that it's not available when it does, in fact, come out for GT Online. Like, maybe it'll come up in a following update. Like, maybe they've given us the car, but they haven't given us the customization. Um, so all we've got so far is the spoiler, which, I'll be honest, doesn't look right on here. So I'm hesitant to say that's not an official spoiler that we'll be using. Um, like, it doesn't, it just doesn't look like it fits on the car, if that makes sense. Um, it does look kind of cool. Oh, my God. My bad. Um, but, yeah, wow. This car does look really cool. Um, okay, there's enough joking aside. Uh, honestly, this car, if it comes out like this, I'll be slightly disappointed. The car does look really freaking nice. I mean, just, just the car is objectively gorgeous. Uh, a couple of things, though. Number one, the spoiler that doesn't look right. So I'm assuming that isn't the actual spoiler we're going to get. Uh, also, there's so much potential here for the roof, as you can see, and the uh, hood. So if there isn't customization options for those two things, I will be surprised. And uh, it will be a missed opportunity from Rockstar. Um, having said that, having a sneak peek at this car, it looks very cool. I like it. Um, I just hope that we've got more customization when it comes out. I suspect that's why we haven't got it yet. They haven't finished doing it all. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. Hit a like if you made it this far. And um, yeah, of course, face cam feedback, always appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'm a terrible driver. Oh, I got, hang on, we got to do this. Oh my god. No! We can't finish the video until we do it. Just hang on. Wow, it reverses really slowly. Yeah. Oh, you busted a <laughs> What? There we go. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, see. I got these. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's really annoying. Um. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.